Okay, 24 hour fitness. Oh, full load today. Hey, quick question for you. You the manager or? Um, he's in a meeting right now, but or, Well, ask you first. Do you know what to do if a customer comes in and they have a service dog with them? That I'm not sure I'd have to ask him, but. <laughs> you have to ask him. Yeah. Oh. I'll find out for you though. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, not a problem. When a member comes in, they have a service dog with them. Uh, search dogs are yeah. Fine. Yeah, I've had specific uh, requirements. You got the sign somewhere here. There's a little sign. People were telling me you had to have a, a picture on a vest, like is on the sign, has a wheelchair and a uh, yeah, so guy walking. Has to be labeled like with like. Has to be labeled. Has to be labeled as a service dog. Okay, and what about papers, documentation, certification, things like that? Um, if you bring it in like the first time, um, we can make a notation in your account, uh, so we can always just refer back to it. So yeah. Okay, well, double fail there. One, you cannot require any type of special garment on the dog. There's no such thing as a standard one. People have them, but you can make your own, buy your own. They, you cannot require them. Two, there's no such thing as paperwork for service dogs, and it's a crime to ask. You can't tell someone, bring in their uh, paperwork the first time or verify or anything, and anything someone would show you. They're committing an act of fraud by showing you fake papers they bought off Amazon or some shit. Or even if they got them from a trainer, those pa papers do not grant authority or privilege. Doesn't. Okay. You asked me if you wanted to, if it was okay to bring your papers. Yeah, I'm checking to see if you're trained to know what you're. Uh... I never said you had to. I said you can if you'd like to. Ah, uh, okay. So you asked me should I bring. Your papers? Yeah, well, the vest you were sure on, yeah, and yeah, they have. If he's wearing a vest, that's fine. If, but you don't require it. I never said that. Okay. You asked, yeah. should he be wearing a vest? I said if you have. Okay. Yeah, so you all don't require vests or papers. Okay. Cool. Just double checking. I've had problems before. A lot. And especially recently with the whatever sign you all put up because of me. It's got a picture of a dude with a wheelchair and a dog. And they're like, yeah, you need to have that on a vest. But no. No, you don't. Anything else we can help you with? No, that's all. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Did you? Oh, I should have let her get the manager. Or was that, was that the manager? She said meeting and then there was a dude standing over there. I don't know. I don't, <clears throat> this was a nice area though. And I kind of got my hopes up on the way over here. I was thinking it'd be a pass. I didn't realize how nice it was till I actually got out here. I had to take an Uber. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> yeah, I posted some the other day and stalkers began attacking immediately. Um, yeah, so we, we can blame this one. The pedophile's been a big problem with the people the pedophile recruited over the years. They're just as big of a problem. And we know Gardner Earth Guy was one of the earliest people to come to the new Dr. Cannis channel. And he brought the trolls with him. So, you know, if people get hurt, remember that. Remember, it's their fault. They wouldn't stop trolling. They wouldn't stop beating up a poor man. They couldn't control themselves. And things happen. Okay, I got to fucking figure out where I'm going. I got to turn off the... Turn this off and look at the map. Yeah, what I'm doing is a public service, I'm educating them, or since I've already determined that they flagrantly going to violate the law no matter what, I'm more educating the public about their discrimination. So, someone's got to do it.